Welcome back to Terrible Fishing. So we are going to talk about anybody out there that wants to start painting their own lures. I know. What to buy and where to buy it. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> I will tell you one thing. It's a, you know, one of my favorite websites to go to when I wasn't painting my own lures was Sixth Sense Fishing. Uh, they make really good lures um, for the money. Um, but I was spending so much money. I mean, consider their subscription box, which saves you some money. Uh, so I think it's 35 bucks a month. So in a year, <laughs> you're knocking out 450 bucks just for that. Just for those baits. And not all of them are what you want. I always go to the clearance section and always reap, well, you know, reap as much as I can, even today. I, I really like their clearance section. Always check out their clearance section. Always buy on sale. So, I when I started painting my own lures, I started to help pay for my hobby, too. So, found a local marina that would sell them. And uh, as I got better, you know, it's, you know, it pays for my gear. But what's even better is that I get what I really want, what works in my waters. And that, I think, is probably the best thing, let alone you save a ton of money. So, we're going to look at what you need to buy uh, on for, which, for making baits. And then maybe, you know, my recommendations. And I really do believe that you should do it right the first time. Because I bought, like, these packages originally, and the uh, airbrushes were pretty poor. So let's, uh, let's look at um, first the compressor and the airbrush. All right, that's kind of an important first step. So I'm going to put up my screen display, my screen grab. So let's do that. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to go over to a compressor. Now, I mean, brands of compressors are very, very similar. But there are some things that you will actually want in your compressor, in hindsight. Uh, I've always done airbrushing. I've been doing airbrushing for 45 years. <laughs> so, but just a, a piston compressor is fine. But you have to have um, this... Uh, uh, a moisture trap and a moisture trap is very very important now notice that this one's got an air tank on it now why is an air tank an advantage over one that just is the compressor itself because a piston compressor um, gives you an inconsistent air supply it goes p -p 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 if it feeds into an air holding tank you know, a pressure tank like this, it feeds air out smoothly. And it's just a very nice, um, steady flow of air that you can control better. And gives a spray onto your um, canvas, whether it be a bait or whatever. Very, very uh, smooth um, line. So getting something like this is... I mean, it doesn't have to be this brand, but for 90 bucks, this is a pretty good deal. Because you get the moisture trap, you get the compressor, and you get a holding tank. Um, this is really a very nice little deal over on, and I'll put these links down below so you can look at them and sort of, so this is kind of, a, you know, this is sort of your motor um, for painting baits. So, Keep this in mind. It's 90 bucks. Now, I've tried lots of different um, airbrushes, 
And there are two brands that I really, really like. There's uh, uh, Iwata, I-W-A-T-A, and Pache. Um, I'm a big Pache fan. Um, I've used Pache for 45 years. You kind of stick with what you, you're comfortable with and what hasn't let you down. So I use this particular brush, and you've seen this brush being used by me all the time. Um, this is the Apache Airbrush TG 3AS. It's a whole set. Now this is really nice because you get three needles with it. Um, and, and that's really a good thing. Um, three different heads, three needles for fine all the way to wide. Uh, I, use, I seldom use the fine, um, but when you're using certain paints in um, painting baits, you, they have larger pigments, especially the color shifting or the pearlized baits. Uh, they actually have larger pigments, so you need a larger nozzle in order to spray those out. Um, and then you can switch. And if you want, I mean, I know it's $125 for this airbrush, but you will see a big difference between a $125 brush as opposed to a one that's packaged in with a uh, um, a compressor, which you can get. Um, I think, I mean, if you just want to try your hand at it, always get a gravity feed airbrush. Um, don't try to get um, a, um, a siphon airbrush. So, but here's one right here. This is, okay, so this one's got a gravity feed airbrush, which has the cup on top. Siphon has the cup below, so never get that. Always get a gravity feed. And here's a nice, here's a little set right here with the compressor that I would recommend. And if you want to just try it, you know, this one is for 21 bucks more. And you get an airbrush with it. Now, my... I really don't think that airbrush is going to be something you're going to enjoy uh, for very long. But if you just want to try it and, you know, throw 20 bucks towards the effort, you could do something like that. I think you're going to end up buying a Pache or an Iwata. Um, Iwata also is... Um, see, they got all these. Look at all these kits. They got lots of kits. Ooh, what was that? Yeah, that was a siphon. Um, how much is an Iwata airbrush? Iwata is a very good airbrush too. Yeah, they're you know depending. Um, you know, they're in that same ballpark as the Pache. So, yeah, they're in the same ballpark. Both of them are really, really, really good airbrushes, though. Um, I really like the Pache a lot. Easy to clean, easy to open up, um, and they give you three. Um, either you got a fine, medium, and 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 high flow, um, and they give you this uh, really neat um, nozzle right here, down left, and it uh, it's a wide spray like a spray painter. So that's cool. So those are the two things that you need. So, you know, you're looking at 215 bucks just for that equipment. Next, this is my number one spot. It, and, it, and it really is um, a one-stop shop, uh, is lurabuild.com. And I'll put this um, down below. The LureBuild.com is where I buy my blanks, and he's got some really good paints, too. Now, we'll talk about paint more, but his paints are really good. And um, he has free shipping, over 115 bucks, I think. And you go over here to Lure Blanks Eyes and More, and he has a drop-down menu right here. And you can choose what baits you want to do. Now, knockoff lure blake baits are really a lot of fun. I mean, he has blanks that are a lot like, like the the a knockoff of the Six Cents Crush 25X, and basically these are blanks of these um, 
very good baits on the market. And if you want top water, you want swim baits, you want lipless, you want finesse, um, all these things are in here. I see these mini and micro blanks. I love mini and micro blanks. You guys know that. So this is this is really a great spot. You're going to run. You're going and and there's one. Um, where's a square bill? Uh, where's square bills? Crankbaits. He has this one. This is a, a S curve. Um, what he calls the money maker. And let's say you just want to make a bunch of uh, square bills. And he has, where is it? Where is it? It's in here someplace. It's got a lot of really good baits in here that I enjoy. And uh, it's really, it's easy to spend 100 bucks on just all your stuff. But let's say you just want to have fun. And the uh, money maker. Where is it? And he does have sales. In fact, you can call James up, you know, he'll answer the phone. It's a small business. And I like that about James. Where's the same money maker? <laughs> Where is it? We'll do a quick search. Here it is. <laughs> okay, I knew it was here. So, he limits only 30 of these. Um, the, you know, the first, you know, per order. But for um, this bait for 72 cents, all right? This is a really good square bill. For 72 cents, uh, you can get 30 of these for 25 bucks. You know, what a great deal. You can just have a good time with that. Now, he also sells eyes and paints. And his clear coat is what I use. It's a two-part epoxy. And it really lasts forever. Um, so, you, it's, you know, you get the... Uh, whew, so he's out of stock at the moment. So... Um, uh, here, 16 ounce. That's all you need. That's all I get is 16 ounce because it really does last a very, very long time. This stuff. So, you know, for $36, this will coat hundreds and hundreds of um, of uh, uh, baits for you really well. So it works really well. So do that. And again, this is all here, all on Lure Build. So his airbrush paints are very good. Now he also sells Turbo Dork. And Turbo Dork is one of my favorite transitional paints. But he, he's out of stock on a lot of stuff because he just went to a um, conference. So he hasn't made this, you know, he's, ba he's behind the gun a little bit on making his own paint. But he makes his own paint. The bone is really, really, really good. I love the bone. In any kind of pearls, I love transitional paints. You have to buy black paint and white paint. And we'll get into that um, because those are your base paints. So he's he does a really good job at making paints. And then, of course, eyes. The eye vault. And you'll need to buy eyes. So... Eyes are actually the cheapest part of painting because um, you could buy, you know, a variety of eyes and they'll last you a very long time. And you'll fall in love with certain ones. So LureBuild.com is probably your best um, all-in-one shop. So Wicked Paint, this right here is my one of my favorite paints too for color transitions dork uh, turbo dork is the best but you're going to want some pearl paint and some base paints so this stuff will last you it really does last you you only need about four drops all right out of each one of these bottles and you're thinning it um, with a reducer so just to get it to flow nicely. So this right here uh, 
you know, you, you get all the, these two ounces. I mean, these are big bottles too for paints. So 25 bucks and you get these awesome colors. And of course, you're going to mix them. I mean, you're going to make more than just that. You're, if as you get into it, you're going to, you're going to want a large black paint and you're going to want a large, you know, this one right here, this white. And uh, so it's $14, but this is eight ounces. This will last you a year, depending on. And then you're also going to want black. So same thing. Um, and reducer. So actually all three of these right here. I use all three of these all the time. So I want you to sort of think about what you're, you're buying here. And you can get some really good, um, let's see, uh, lure eyes I have bought like these little kits right here for 10 bucks um, and got some really good eyes on it the only problem is you don't get enough of each size but to just start out you know 10 bucks get one of these little kits um, for it and off you go now there are some other things that you're gonna want you're gonna want uh, mixing cups little tiny mixing cups you're going to need um, toothpicks, right? toothpicks and, and popsicle sticks to mix um, inside the cap and then inside the cup. And you're going to need water droplets and um, little squirt bottles and lots of blue tape. <laughs> lots of blue tape. Then you're going to need hooks and you're going to need split rings again we could go over to lure build and he really does have very good hooks and one of my favorite hooks where is it here it is that i enjoy and i've had really good success with you know you can see the mustads and uh he does have mustad but there is another one here here it is big black I love Big Black. So here's Big Black. And these are really good hooks. I use these. Now I do use, I, I will buy for my higher end stuff. You know, Gamakatsus. Uh, I'm a big Gamakatsu fan. And what a fantastic hook. But um, you pick the, your size right here. And let's say you want, you know, real popular size is four. And you get 10 hooks for five bucks. Not bad. And off you go. <laughs> so very, very, and he's got some really neat stuff. I mean, dress treble hooks. So if you want to add sort of a, a, a feather on the back, you can choose a white or black feathers and uh, put that on the back and add sort of that tail on the back of your um, your uh, lure. So really, really nice. Um, and again, fantastic. Um, I would, I mean, one-stop shop is Lure Build. So you could get just about everything you need here. But you're going to, you know, you're going to go to the hardware store or um, you're going to go to um, Harbor Freight if you got one. You know, and get, you know, the little holders. I don't know if I can, it's way over there. To hold your lures while you're painting them. So, very, very simple stuff. To be honest, your total outgo, you know, is probably going to be for good stuff. You know, the bache and the, 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 um, the uh, compressor is going to be 215 bucks. So, you're going to, you know, consider... <clears throat> to get all started up another 100 bucks of stuff so 315 bucks not bad and you'll be able to make 30 of your baits now think about this if you do 30 of those those square bills 30 of the square bills and you're out 300 bucks that's only 10 bucks a square bill and now you're set up to make as many baits as you want. Ten bucks a square bill is pretty darn good. Really darn good. 
<laughs> you can see why I did it. Um, let's go back to me. Oh, here I is again. So, the uh, when you think about the affordability of our 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 hobby, it's not very affordable because we spent all of our money on our baits and what we put on our line. Uh, the cheapest part is the rod and reel. Um, and that's kind of the way it is with m painting your own baits. Your cheapest part really is your airbrush and your compressor. Because in one session, or in a week, you could pay for it. If you have a small store in town, wherever you are, um, that will let you um, consign or sell your baits um, in their store. What a wonderful thing. And they get behind you because you're the local guy doing it. Um, you can sell them online like I've done, you know, to you guys. Um, I've made collector box sets for $125 with has every technique in it, including a very big um, swim bait. You can do stuff like that. Um, and you know, with what's available now on my channel and other channels about how to paint baits, really is a very simple thing to, uh, to, to really dive into. And it's fun. Really is fun. And it will save you a ton of money. Imagine 300 bucks you're out, go for, to set yourself up, and you can knock out 30 baits. All baits that you want and that you can sell. And as you continue to, you know, I, I sell my baits depending anywhere from $9 on up to $50 each. And uh, those are the big ones. And uh, big ones are easier to paint. But they also have the world's best hooks on them. Um, I always, always go with the world's best hooks on the really good stuff. Now those black those black hooks are really good. I've never had a problem with them. Uh, I really like them a lot. Now, you could go with a brand like Mostad and Kamikatsu, but the Kamikatsus really are my favorite um, hook for real, my my high-end stuff. Um, these things are just sharp as a tack. I mean, you can catch your finger with, you know, real easy. So, and you'll need stuff, you know, I mean, you know, split ring pliers. These are cheap, but these are my favorite sp split ring pliers. And, um, you know, just run some fishing line in your, you know, in your room and hang them up for drying and stuff like that. And then ask for packaging, you know, I mean, you just get some five mil bags and it works. Uh, but these little business card size little blister packs for my finesse baits work really, really well. But the, uh, you know, these, you guys have seen me use these. You know, I just print out a, a button, you know, on, you know, these, uh, you know, the stickers. And then, you know, I put it, I put it in a five mil bag. And uh, works really well. In fact, even Lure Build sells these. One stop shop, man. James has tried to, James Gano owns that, and James tries to really make sure that you really don't have to leave him to go somewhere else for um, for uh, supplies. He wants to be that one stop. He even sells an airbrush on it. So you can just look and see what he's got. Um, but I'm a big Pache fan, so like I said, Pache and Iguata are two of the best um, airbrushes on the market. And they do really, really well. So, and then it's just a matter of practice, practice, practice. In fact, even James might, if you call him up, he might have some some old blanks or whatever that he'll send you for free with your order. Um, that's up to him. <laughs> I'm speaking for him. But, you know, just for you to practice on. I don't know. It's not that hard. It really isn't. And in the end, you're saving a lot of money and you can hopefully um, uh, help pay for your hobby 
I mean this first order, the spring order that I'm go I'm building on right now is going to buy me a, a high end reel, and uh, um, you know I'm looking at a Shimano Conquest BFS um, reel, and uh, you know it's a four hundred dollar reel. I mean, just money's not in the budget for that unless I bring it in. So if I sell my baits. I can bring that in and buy a really, really nice reel to put on that new Cajun seven and a half foot um, light. So it's uh, you could do some pretty good stuff with it, and you you'll be surprised at. Not only will you catch more fish, but it's more enjoyable to catch your own fish, catch fish on your own baits that you painted, that you fitted, that you learned. Um, it's the best, hands down. It's the best. So I would, you know, I would suggest it. So I'll put some of these links down below. And um, I think you guys will have a good time with it. I mean, for those of you that can do it, um, if you can do it, I say do it. And as for selling it to your significant other, well, you're going to spend, you, know, you can buy 30 baits in, in a year easy. Except now, they're cheaper, and now you can pay for your hobby if you, you make 60. <laughs> you could be that money make, you know, 72 cents for, I think, each one of those. Uh, you really can't go wrong. That's why he calls it the money maker. He gets a really good, really good deal on it. It's the cheapest price I've ever seen on that blank. blank. And, uh, but make some big ones. Uh, big bass like big baits. So my favorite, um, my favorite uh, uh, blank is a knockoff here. Let's go to it. And I love. There it is. It's a seven and a half inch wake bait. It is a knockoff to the. Imakatsu Buzz Bill Magnum. And, you know, this is the one that I put the Gamakatsu hooks on. Uh, it is a uh, kind of a double jointed, it's a single jointed actually. That back tail area right here is um, soft plastic. But it, it just wags and it just, it is one of the most beautiful topwater baits you will ever have. And it is just, it's the its the perfect bait um, for topwater fishing and for big bass topwater fishing. So, you know, you're going to, you know, these bait, these hooks are not cheap. Okay, Kamikatsu hooks are not cheap. But you, when you sell this for 40 or 50 bucks, you want that person to have the best clear coat, the best finish, the best paints on it, the best split rings on it, the best hooks on it. Um, you want them to have the best that money can buy on this. So you're going to spend a good 10 bucks um, on product to put on it. But in the end, you know, uh, you know, for, if you're going to sell it for 40 or 50 bucks, you're going to get a, a, a high quality lure that is... Uh, Well, it's worth their money, worth its weight because I have caught a lot of big fish with that, and so is my buddy. Um, he got a uh, trout-looking one and a, a blueback uh, that I painted for him, and uh, I don't know which one, but he said he got like five fish in an hour on that thing, and you know it really limits the size of fish because a seven and a half inch bait is not going to catch a six inch bass. <laughs> It's just not. Nah. You know, you're really limiting your, your catches from one pound on up uh, on something like that. What a great bait. What a great... And you will see that as you get better and better at uh, um, painting, uh, and you're going to, you know, get some artist brushes and stuff. In, so you can just go ahead and do some bloodlines on it. And that's what... You know, let me, let's see what I got here. I'm sure I've got, oh yeah, here's one with bloodlines on it. And, you know, 
This is that bait, actually. This is the knockoff. Or uh, not the knockoff, but the the moneymaker. It's a great little bait. Uh, you really can't see because it's green screen. But uh, it is gr lime green on a pearl body with um, just hand, you know, blood trails on it. But what a great bait. Um, you know, this will catch bass. <laughs> Every bait I paint, I say, it's going to catch bass. That's the fun part, too. So, hopefully, you know, let me stick that there. Hopefully, this help you out a little bit. Um, and sort of sort of get that in, you know, into your mind. It's fun catching stuff on your own baits. So, hopefully, you know, this helps you out a little bit. Um, so, we're going to put this on my uh, airbrush uh, playlist and stuff so and in that playlist you're going to see a lot of stuff on airbrushing bait, bait, uh, baits and hopefully it'll help you out I love this stuff anyway you guys take care and I will see you guys in the next video which are a lot of videos coming something about you know bad weather and no ice <sighs> And I do have a steelhead trip coming up.